here's the reactions um, formulas that I prepared earlier. So you can see for the fermentation of glucose, you have your sugar, glucose, C6H12O6. Um, we used yeast that has different enzymes that it produces which break down the sugars. We actually use glucose powder. You can also use sucrose because yeast produce a number of different enzymes and another one of those will break down um, sucrose, which is C6, oh, sorry, C12 H22 and O5, O11, sorry. I've got to do that math in my head for a minute. Um, so basically it's the combination of two glucose units joined together uh, in a condensation reaction and so you lose the water from it. Um, and if you break that down you make fructose and glucose, both the same formula, they're just isomers of each other. Okay, so once you've broken down, you've got your glucose, it reacts with the yeast, you've produced your two um, ethanol units, so I've just written them as C2H5OH, and you also get your two carbon dioxides, okay? If you check here, you've got four carbons, two carbons are six, you have 10 hydrogen, 12 hydrogen, there's your 12, and you have your two oxygen here and your four oxygen there, so there's six. So we've got a nice balanced equation there. The next one is I'll show you that potassium permanganate and ethanol. This is extra. This is not um, written in the syllabus to know, but it's a good example of a oxidation reduction reaction. So let's have a look at that. Um, here we have ethanol. And if you get ethanol plus the water, it's in a aqueous solution. I haven't written all the states, but that's what's happening there. You basically uh, oxidize this to produce... Um, acetic acid, CH3COOH. And in that process, you produce um, four hydrogen ions and four electrons are released. Remember, this is a half equation, not the full equation yet. So the next one is our potassium permanganate and ethanol. Uh, and this is the reduction one. So here you have the manganese uh, permanganate, uh, which 